today we're going to start off with understanding what plagiarism is. It's a word that sounds kind of scary, actually, if, if said. And when heard, if you know what it means, it is actually kind of scary. So you might have heard this from your, your peers when you look, you might glance at their work. They might say, don't copy me. That's an example of what plagiarism is, except you're taking, when, when you plagiarize, you're taking information from someone or some place, and they don't actually know about it. You're just t copying their words. So the pra plagiarism is the practice of taking someone else's work or ideas and then passing them off as your own. So you copy them and you say, this is my work. We're going to actually try to figure out how can we get away from that without um, falling under that that realm of plagiarism because it's not a place you want to be it can hurt you later in life so what we are going to talk about is paraphrasing and what this is is you use your own rendition or version of essential information and ideas expressed by someone else so you do that in a new idea a new way so you take that what they wrote and you try to figure out a way to make it different um, another way is one legitimate way when accompanied by an accurate documentation is to borrow a source. Now that's a lot of big language, so really what that means is citing, so using the information, and then citing where it came from. And then a more detailed rest restatement than a summary, which focuses concisely on a single main idea. Now that's what paraphrasing is, is it takes what the words are and you kind of take out words that were there that aren't essential or that are not necessarily and you take the big ideas and you make it your own so here's six steps to effective paraphrasing step one and actually before I get started I want you to go and pull your report notes document open that up and open up a website a valid valid source that you have found and I want you to pick a paragraph and copy that paragraph into your report notes in the entire paragraph okay so once you're done that come back and we'll go from there all right jumping back into this you now have a paragraph that's in there that is from another place and right underneath it you can cite where you got it you can just put the web address but for our purposes today, we're not saying that that's our own work. We're saying we're going to be using that to practice paraphrasing. So what you're going to do is read the original passage until you understand really what it's trying to say. So you read it a couple times, and you're only reading a paragraph, so it shouldn't take too long, and it would be okay for you to do it a few times. So then you're going to set that aside. You're going to get rid of that. In fact, I want you to highlight it and control X so you're gonna cut it and when you do that I want you to write a pair of um, write your paraphrase on a note card we don't need to do that we have it in our in our in our grasp already and then you're gonna jot down a few words below your your paraphrase to remind you later on how you envision this material at the top so what you're gonna do really is just jot down some uh, ideas that you got from this um, the, the reading and then you're going to check what uh, based on what the paragraph was. So control V to paste that paragraph back in. And you're going to look at that paragraph now. And you're going to think, OK, what keywords did I write down and what did I miss? So you're not copying the entire thing. You're just copying out the big ideas from there. So that way you're, you're saving yourself from actually copying word for word what the author wrote. Because you seriously do not want to do that. We really want to be careful. And then, then we're going to say, is there any um, words that this writer, this author used that are really irreplaceable? I can't just paraphrase them. I have to use them because they were so powerful. And then what you would do there is you'd use a quotation mark to identify any unique term or phraseology you have borrowed exactly from the source. Okay, so if you found something that is, let's pretend you found something in that paragraph that is just so awesome you can't get away from it I want you to in your paraphrased version I want you to you put that entire quote and then give credit for where it came from and so you put the website you put the book title the page number etc and record the source um, so that way we can give credit back in the in the time 
And where you could do that actually is on your gathering grid. So you're essentially, we're not practice anything that, practicing anything that isn't going to be val valuable to us. We're actually, so we're actually doing this that is actually good stuff. So make sure you go to your gathering grid and put this stuff in. So f the paragraph that you found could have been one that was helping you answer your essential question. So hopefully you chose something that was helpful. All right. Now this is this part right here is where the original passage. This is some examples of paraphrased material. Okay, so students fre frequently overuse direct quotation in taking notes. And as a result, they overuse quotations in the final research paper. Probably only about 10% of your final report should be appear directly as directly quoted matter. Therefore, you should strive to limit the amount of exact transcribing of the source materials while taking notes. Now take a look. This is where the, the author of the article, the book that it came from, second edition, and the year that it was made, and the pages that it was from. Now this would be a paraphrase, paraphrasing of that exact thing. In research papers, students often quote excessively. So there's their own word. Failing to keep quoted material down to a desirable level. Since the problem usually originates during note taking, it is essential to minimize the material recorded verbatim. Ooh, there's a word right there. And that word just means word for word, whatever you take. So hopefully when you took, we did the note taking lesson, you, you paid attention on how to take efficient notes so that way you don't allow yourself to plagiarize. Now this is a summarize, summary of what is said. Students should take few notes in direct quotation from sources to help minimize the amount of quoted material in research paper. Okay, that's an, just a summary. This is a plagiarized version. Students use too many direct quotes when they take notes, resulting in too many of them in the final research paper. That right there is fairly similar to that of this. They just took out a few words, but that's still the main idea, the way they wrote it, it's very similar. You can't just take out one word frequently and say, often and expect that it to be okay. The entire sentence is still copied except for that one word. So you need to really break down the sentence and choose one or two words that you could use and then go from there. Plagiarism is a very big thing and it is um, actually dealt with very strictly in college and in high school. So let's learn these skills now and figure out how we can help ourselves learn. Now, if you want to, in this document called Paraphrasing, it's in the Practice New Techniques folder, there is a slideshow. And it's from slideshare.com. And if you go there, you can watch the slideshow to help you further your understanding of paraphrasing.